If man is the father, the son is the center of the earth. In the middle of the universe, then why is this verse coming six times rehearsed? Don't freestyle much, but I write them like such. Word. Amongst the fiends controlled by the screens, what does it all mean? Right. Hello, how are y'all doing? Good. I'm very glad to be here on your show. I'm very, I'm very fortunate. So you've been called Chuck D, Mr. Chuck, Carl Reidenhauer, and your real name is Carlton. Which one would you like us to call you? You can call me Chuck. That's fine. Mr. Hi. Chuck is good sometimes too, but um, you know we can we can roll with Chuck. Hi, I'm Ryder. And I'm Alex. And we're with the Santa Barbara Middle School Team Press, and we're here with Chuck. How did the Haiti earthquake affect you and your family? I have um, friends from Haiti. I have. Uh, I grew up in a neighborhood in New York, close to the Haitian community. So, looking at uh, the devastation in Haiti, really made me number one reach out to people that I knew, and um, and also made me talk to people about uh, how important the history of people in Haiti has been, uh, because. It, you have people who have been there for a very long time that want to be able to do better with their land. And um, now the, the hope and the help of the world is, is, is um, coming to their support. So um, we hope that this is the best thing going forward for them. Okay. And also, I've read that you think Haiti holds special and meaningful lessons for America and the world. What lessons do we have to learn from Haiti? how to help and how human beings can help each other. That's a very important lesson. Everybody can help somebody. Yeah. Yes, that's, everybody can help somebody. Yeah. Doesn't matter how old you are, doesn't matter where you're at, it's a very good thing to keep in mind. And as bad as you might think it is in your lives, you can always think about somebody else in their lives and you might even feel that, wow, I'm not so bad after all. I'm not doing so bad, maybe I can help somebody. And what things have you and your wife done to try to help Haiti? Um, well, I'm an, I'm an artist, so in the arts community, we try to raise funds. Uh, we try to raise uh, attention to the artist community to help make songs, to, to help people, make them aware of certain things, make some donations, uh, and also bring awareness. Awareness is very, is very um, important. You want people to be aware of things that's happening around the world. Well, you've probably seen that Arizona is big on the news right now and in our classes we've watched films about um, immigration and you and your wife have been involved in a song called Tear Down the Wall. What do you think we need to do about immigration? I think human beings should be able to go anywhere they want to on the planet. Um, especially if people want to be able to live somewhere else and help build up um, and not tear down places, I think that's always helpful to, to be able to look at the whole entire planet. I've been to 70, 76 countries in my lifetime and I know this is, a, this is a gigantic, it is a big world and there's a lot of opportunity across the world and I feel that human beings are the most important resource of this planet so we need to treat ourselves better in order to be here on this planet. So, tear down this wall is a statement saying there should not be any borders that keep people from living with each other. I don't like that. We heard about your goal to raise 5,000 liters. How are you doing that and how is it going? That goal was in 1987, long before you two were born. Um, a leader is somebody that looks at themselves and takes accountability and responsibility for their lives and their actions and has a good sense of, of making sure that uh, their surroundings are okay. You helped put together an anthology of civil rights music. If you're going to give me a playlist for my iPod of five or so inspirational songs, what would you put on it? I would give you a, a song from Curtis Mayfield. I'm so proud, it's a good song. We could leave it at that. We could go further. It's, I got 10,000 songs on my iPod, so I don't think I could cover them all in this interview on which ones to pick. Okay. Curtis Mayfield is a great place to start. Okay. You ever heard of Curtis Mayfield? 
I haven't. You can Google Curtis Mayfield, and the name of his group was Impressions. And um, I used to visit him at his house in Atlanta. Um, it's one of the great guitar players and singers of our time. He was paralyzed on stage from a stage accident. But some of my best times is going to his house and hearing his uh, philosophy. He's a great, great human being. When we interviewed Ziggy Marley, we asked him what song he would like to lead the world in singing. If you had the whole world in the room today, what song would you lead us in singing? Ah, uh, it doesn't have to be a song I wrote. Or, um, a, a great song, I think, for the world is um, Come Together by the Beatles. Yeah, that's, that's, you really can't go wrong with that song. Come together right now, dun, 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 over me. Me and my band used to do it in a, in a part of our set a couple of years ago. No better song to kick it into that. Thank you very much, y'all. Thank you so much. And Ryder and Alex for doing such a, a fantastic, yeah. sharp interview. Hey, look, I, I talk to interviewers and TV stations around the world all the time. And also, I, I see artists around the world all the time. All of y'all, you know, y'all rank high. I know, and I know you like saying, you just talk, and well, I'm, I'm serious. I wouldn't just, I wouldn't just tell you. I would just not say anything. I'm like, wow, keep doing what you're doing. Well, and then thank, one day. Well, thank all the people that have, have brought the Santa Barbara community together. Our neighborhoods, the school that we go to, mm. our parents. We, we, are, we are pretty awesome, but we couldn't be awesome without the help of people that lift us up. I'm glad you recognize that. I'm glad you recognize the effort of your parents and your teachers and, and that you see that's a great way to go.